it's just after seven and Mark got us off the anchor and generator is running and we're leaving Cape May and apparently some sort of traffic jam this morning. A couple fishing boats, the dredging boat, moving pretty slow out of this channel. It was uh, about 55 degrees in our bedroom this morning. No, I would say even a little chillier than that. 50? And it's about 55 up here. And we will be taking a left going north and we'll be passing Wildwood almost right away. And the Army Corps of Engineers is getting their dredging boat back in a similar place it was yesterday when we arrived. Mark's turning the stabilizers on, which always gives us a little bit of a tilt. And we're anticipating a 10 hour cruise up to Captain Bill's Marina in Pleasant Point, Pleasant, New Jersey. A little bumpy coming out. Okay, this morning is very roly poly. Not enjoying this at all. Mark is on an engine room break, his first one. It's a little after eight. I feel like we just left Ocracoke. And these are pretty big. big swell waves. 
Um, I can only guess at their size. I mean, there's still quite a few big ones out here, but not as big and as frequent as they were earlier. It was definitely very unnerving and um, did not like that at all. Valkyrie's a good girl. Salty girl. So I see we have an ETA of 9 o'clock. Still going forward to Point Pleasant Beach? No. Nope. What are we doing? Going to Sandy Hook. You're going past Point Pleasant Beach all the way to Sandy Hook That's right. to anchor. Mm -hmm. And what? That's my plan is, at the moment. Why haven't you gotten to that decision? Because what we went through already today. Which was what exactly? Um, three footers, three to four. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Um, it was it was two foot seas on top of a two foot swell. It was more than that. And tomorrow, from all my fantastic, fabulous predictions, is going to be worse. And it's going to get worse and worse and worse until next until the 29th, as far as I can see. So we got to finish the gauntlet today, or we're definitely not going to make it home in time for your doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointments can be changed. Yeah. So where do you think we're at now? You're, there's no way those were two foot waves on top of two foot swells. That I was so them, like, much bigger. I would have called them sixes and eights. Yeah. That was much bigger than that. Nah, I think so. I think so. The, the weather buoy outside of, I think it was outside of New York, was calling them four footers and they're being measured. Well, but we were not in the same place that that weather buoy is. No, I would say not. But we're heading that way. And yeah. the wind is supposed to decrease and the seas are calming down. So, yep, gonna pull an all nighter. there with the spotlight and the radar we're going to anchor and then the wind is picking up and it's not looking pretty okay it's a little after four and we've been cruising since seven as you can tell we are still hitting some pretty good waves and swells. They're not quite as bad as they were earlier, um, but we've been pretty much all those hours of wave and swells and waves and swells. Did I mention waves? Yeah, waves, waves and swells. That's what our day's been. We're gonna just keep going and uh, we're gonna be coming into Sandy Hook to anchor in a spot we haven't anchored at in the dark, so hopefully that goes well. Always like to look out the back and see what's going on. So it's 5.30 and the sun is setting. And we have about three more hours of cruising. We don't cruise at night, so this will be our first nighttime cruise. The nighttime sky is coming to the light. heading line on the radar. 
I do. Hopefully it comes up on the okay. camera, but yeah. And then the green rings are half a mile apart, so half one, one and a half, two, two and a half. It's a little over two and a half miles. And if you watch it, it will flash Morse code A, I think is what that really is. trip down, we're not going to be able to see you, on our trip down, we had found that anchorage in the dark. Why but did we get there late? It was a long ass day. We just got there late. Yeah. It was a long ass day to Connecticut. And, and we sun, went to the first anchorage. The and then, the, yes, and it, well, because it was still it was early well, night. It was cloudy. So yeah, yeah and it got, gets dark before five in December, and then it was cloudy, and we went to the first anchorage and decided that wasn't any good, and then had to find our way in the dark to the second anchorage. But luckily, we were in a like a city area, so it wasn't like pitch pitch black dark, but it was yeah, not good. Did you good. mention that the searchlight wasn't working? Oh yeah, our searchlight wasn't working at the time, but it's working now. But my camera at night, we don't have enough light to capture anything. Yeah, Mark had to fix the spotlight in our journeys this trip. Thank goodness. And, uh, yeah, so that first night was not... I mean, but that was like at 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. We're, at, we're not going to be anchoring until like 9 o'clock at night. The whole different ballgame. Yeah, last light was at 6. Last light was at 6, yep. Yeah. And so, but we're doing 9 knots now. Apparently, holy cow. And um, we're doing at 8 48. And this is like the smoothest freaking water we've had, so thank God it's like calmed down now that it's dark. I wouldn't want those waves that we had today no, we have in the dark. Like that for a while, yeah. So, all right. Mark is out taking care of the anchor. It is, I can't see the clock. It's like, it is 8.59. So 14 hours of driving today. We're in Sandy Hook, New Jersey. And we are putting this day to bed. Whew! That was quite a day. 